Hello learners! Your brain weighs approximately three pounds, which is about the same as a small toaster. The toaster can toast up to two slices of bread at once. Cool. But your brain, well, it's nearly limitless what your brain can do. Your brain can learn new things, remember what you had for breakfast, imagine awesome dance moves. It can even operate a toaster. Your brain is wonderful, powerful, and extraordinary. And best of all, you are in control of growing it. But to grow it well, it helps to know how it works. Today, we're going to take on the challenge of growing our brains. Are you curious? Let's fire up our neurons and learn something new. So you may be wondering, if we can grow our brain, How's it gonna fit in our head? Well, don't worry. You don't need to go out and buy bigger hats. When we say grow our brains, we mean grow the inside of our brains. The building blocks of your brain are brain cells called neurons. Neurons are super small and they're inside your skull. So they're really hard to see. But if we can zoom all the way in, closer, 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 Ah, there we go. Now we can see a giant galaxy of neurons right inside your head. Our brains work by neurons communicating with one another. They send out electrical and chemical signals to find one another, and then they connect and make a pathway. Once we connect them, information can be passed along this pathway. One neuron sends a signal to another, who listens and passes it on to the next, who passes it on to the next, and so on and so on. The more neuron connections we make, the more pathways we have. And the more pathways we have, the more information we can store. And the more information we can store, the smarter we get. And since we are in control of our brains, it's up to us to get our neurons active and make new connections. Every time we get curious, our neurons get ready to communicate. Pop! When we put in the effort to try something new, our neurons reach out for new connections. Buzz. And then, after all that hard work, we learn a new skill and our neurons connect. Zap! That connection means we made a new pathway. We just got smarter. And guess what? If we keep practicing that skill, the pathway gets stronger and we get better and better at that skill. Just like walking through a field, the more times we walk the same path, the clearer that path becomes. But what if we make a mistake? Does that mean our neurons missed and didn't connect? Nope. Even then, we're firing neurons and forming new pathways. This pathway is a strategy that just didn't work. And now we know to try something different the next time. That means even when we make mistakes, we're making neuron connections and getting smarter. So the more connections we make, the smarter we get. But how many connections can we make? Well, how many neurons do you think we have? 12. More than that. 8,000. Even more than that. 36,793. Nope. Inside your brain, there are billions of neurons. Yep, billions with a big old B. Those billions of neurons can make endless connections. That's right, you have unknown and unlimited potential. And the best part is, making those connections is your choice. All you have to do is get your brain ready. So, when you face a challenge, think, hmm, that's a new connection to make. It's time to get curious. Remember, learners, smart isn't born, it's made. Those billions of neurons in your brain can make infinity connections. There's no limit to how much your brain can learn and grow. When you choose to use your growth mindset, you're making the choice to get smarter. Let's see a toaster do that. Thanks for joining me, learners. I hope you enjoyed taking a tour around the galaxy of neurons inside your head. In our next lesson, we're going to explore how to get our neurons active and make new connections. And be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about your extraordinary brain. Congratulations, you just got smarter.